kill. What a surprise. And so this is what, loser's semis, I believe? This is loser's semis. So don't believe what you see on the screen. All right, right but away, do, Texas. do believe the best of five part, because yeah. that part is true. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> Ostentatious versus Fox. So the interesting to note, the thing to note with Chad's Fox, he has a very different style to today's metagame. He does, like, a lot of full hop aerial control, like full hop nares, like drifting back just to hold space. Um, I feel like that is something he's gained from old school, perhaps? Yeah, he's been doing that forever. Yeah. So... His combo game is a little bit unorthodox too. Not like the standard like Ooh. wave shine or like up air, up air strength. He likes doing more of a horizontal combo game, like using nares to string the opponent along the level. I think it's interesting how like old schoolers have brought in their old style to the current meta. Yeah, and it's still rather viable for the most part. For the most part, not at the top of the meta game. Not like Ken's. <laughs> Old school game. Yeah. It's not as viable, right? But, yeah. But like something that like you were saying, the small thing that Chad does. Yeah, like that full. It hop gives there. him an edge over people who are used to this current meta, who you know it, well, it wouldn't can, expect it otherwise. It's a style that they're not used to. So. Uh, Dab definitely trying to shield drop there. Yeah. Get the shield drop fair. Dab going for the platform, but uh, he got hit. He didn't. Was he didn't tag, so he died. <laughs> To be honest, I'm wondering why he's going Fox instead of his Falco. Maybe it's because his Falco lost a cop earlier. But, yeah, I like, don't I don't know. I feel like his Falco is superior. These days, yeah. But also with these tech chases, he went for um, forward tilt there, thinking he was going to tech in place or not tag, but he just stuck away. Nice. Going for up smash there. That won't kill, though. Wow. That, that was like 1 or 2% away. Needles completely miss. <laughs> Chad not able to get there in time, though. And he's oh, dead. man. I, I got to say, uh, Austin tends to go through, like, low phases where he's getting beat by, like, people he way shouldn't. Yeah. To f high phases where he's, like, wow. being incredibly dominant. Looks like a top five player in our state. And I think the, the worst experience in one of those phases. I mean, he's inconsistent. For sure. This should be death. Although, it, I should say, to be inconsistent on his level of inconsistency is pretty okay. Being inconsistent against top players is in the state. Yeah. Is not a bad deal. You could be inconsistent and lose to absolutely nobody. Like me. Like Flo, nominal. <laughs> or whatever your name is these days. Yeah, Flo nominal, yeah. Do you let your boys pick your name? No, I you pick should. my name. You should. You should let your boys. I only, I'm the only one who picks my name. For anybody that hasn't caught it, there is a big list of boys. <laughs> well, I... They're Actually, that sounds they're very lewd. Boy, they're not boys anymore. They're, they're definitely sons boys. Now. They're men. I, uh, <laughs> boys I, to sons. Yeah, I switched it to sons. <laughs> Onish has started his own boy band, Boys to Sons. <laughs> but also with a pretty dominant in game one. Um, he Peace, man. Got him in a lot of tech situations. Made it pay off for the most part. Yeah, that was pretty dominant. Chad never really got like prolonged punishes. I guess he switched to Falco. I guess it's not too dominant because it was a two stock, but like it was he, he was in control dominant. the whole game though. So uh, Yoshi's game two. Yoshi's one of Falcon's best levels, so not a surprise really. You go here. Yeah, this is a classic. Like Chad loves this level. Falco All loses or. Falco will immediately counterpick this stage. Yeah. Just because he's able to control it more, right? And so another, you know, another quirk with Chad is he does a lot of full hop dares. And dare is, in my opinion, the best aerial in melee. You can't really challenge it when it's falling That's down. Dead. Especially with Sheik. Right. So it gives some good control of the air. And Austin's going to have to wait it out on the ground. But Austin's still really just in control. Yeah, if this doesn't work, I, I expect a switch to get it. <laughs> I expect it. I don't agree with that ever. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and that's the easy, yeah. Oh, man. That's I'm, e I'm eating my well. words about it looking dominant. Although, he did go in without, like, a hand warmer or anything. And he, oh, okay. A little bit more like that. A little bit more opportune kills, and yeah, he, you'll have it. You got Jim, he, Blue Jim in the background cheering. Chad's used to, like, going for high aerials to recover. He's kind of like an aggressive recoverer with Falco, if that makes sense. 
No, it does make sense. And actually, it looks like that r aggressive recovery, as you as you call it, is put a little bit of life back into our boy Chad. Yeah. So Chad doesn't hit a shield drop, so he also can kind of get away with bad aerials on platforms. Talk about aggressive recovery. He definitely did unsafe stuff. Oh, oh awesome very his opportune. Angle. Oh, that could have been death, but it okay. Combat started. Uh, he only got one shine. For Falco to beat Sheik, Falco has to get the prolonged combos, that, especially on Yoshi, he's, he's so known for. Yeah, and you can't be getting, uh, like, Dab pulled off the perfect shield, right? Yeah. Oh, man, he's pulling off perfect shields everywhere, actually. Uh, oh, wow. man! Kill it. He, instead of going for downer, he went for shine, knowing it would kill. Austin probably also Ooh. holding up. Wow. We got a tight battle and a fully charged F smash. Oh, my God, he go almost off. died if Randall was there. Okay, good grab there by Austin, just waiting out the down air. Going for the tech chase, going for dash attack, I like that, just to continue a combo. You know, it's funny, I noticed that, like, now that he's about to die, hopefully not, but uh, he, he's the very opposite of K-Pan, where, like, K-Pan will laser a ton. Yeah. He'll just go in. I, I think that he would be w wise to stay Falco and just, you know. Be a little bit more safer. Yeah, work. Use lasers a little bit more. Work the adaptation game here. You Wait, know, you know, there's not a lot of players that play like Kevin. There's like Kevin and PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> yeah, Kevin just tries to be like PP Light. Yeah. But like, what I'm trying to say is, in terms of the laser game, because the laser game from Chad, he's it, going back Fox. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. He did really, really well as Falco, and he like, was doing better uh, as I the game went say on. He he was doing well in certain opportunities that Austin was giving him, but that was giving him the life that he needed. Uh, I guess we'll see what he can make of it, right? Yeah. Oh, no, man, not you're not going to make much of it when you're getting down smashed. Yeah, and I swear by Austin, he kind of just, like, was in a in a position where he could cover both going for Randall or going for the edge. So it paid off there. The only thing I don't like, mostly, is that, like, Fox spawns a kill percent on this stage. So, like... Oh, debatable. That's not looking good, though. It's just like it takes just a little less to kill Fox on the stage, right? Well, on the flip side, it takes a little le less for Fox to do to kill on the stage. That's true. But I feel like Dab hasn't had too much of a problem killing the Spaceys. Yeah. So I feel like you're just empowering him to get the earlier kill. But on the other side, if you're already dying quickly... Like, you can pull off a good kill. Yeah, like you, right. you can take your chances hoping you also start getting early kills. Right, so. right. And again, not knowing if she'll drop, so I just tried to do something to punish it. Uh, missing the uh, short hop shine. on that Nair. He's missing his wave shines too, so he's getting his 4% and then calling it a day. Oh, and. I feel like he could have uh, wave, wave dash, dash out of shield. Or, or grab. Wave dash out of shield to shine, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, just a little bit slow. You know, one thing to note, he hasn't really been going to tournaments all this year, so he's probably definitely rusty with his tech skill. I agree. And this is looking like it's going to be an uphill battle. Although I got to say, it's nice when you haven't gone to anything and still make fourth. Like, yeah. <laughs> Somebody needs to pull off a crazy comeback. And it's probably over. Oh, soft up there. Oh, wow. I thought there was going to be an attack up there in the magnifying glass. Yeah. Like like the upbeat kill I had oh, earlier. Oh, man. Today. Doesn't need it. <laughs> NTSC won't save you. GG. Yeah, so 3 0 to Austin. I kind of. He pointed right at me. I feel honored. <laughs> I, I kind of wish that he saved Falco. Yeah, I feel I like think his Falco had a lot of momentum going into that that game. I mean, like he, yeah, he lost, but at the same time, it had momentum, right? And you know, his Falco got off to a bad start, but he clawed his way back into a pretty close game at the end.